Does Bam Adebayo deserve to be in Salt Lake? Miami Heat's Bam Adebayo is the reason why the Heat are not sub-10 in the Eastern Conference this season. You might be thinking, now, wait a minute. Hold up. They have Jimmy Butler and Tyler Hero. What are you talking about? Well, Jimmy has missed 16 games this season. And although he has carried the team on his back for several seasons, and we've seen glimpses of playoff Jimmy in the regular season, this season, his absence has impacted the Miami Heat and not exactly in a good way. Tyler Hero, former sixth man of the year, deserved all the praise and accolades last season. But this year, he's missed 13 games and he's playing more minutes, but his field goal percentage is down. If I had to summarize Tyler Hero's impact on the Miami Heat this season, I would say it's been streaky. Bam Adebayo, what a big paint presence for the Miami Heat. Leads the NBA in points in the paint. Carried the Miami Heat when both Tyler Hero and Jimmy Butler were both out. One of the best rebounders in the game. Just a physical force on both sides of the basketball. He's actually having a better year statistically and with the eye test than when he was voted in as a first-time NBA All-Star in the 2020 NBA season. So why exactly is Bam Adebayo not among the top 10 front court players voted in by the fans? Well, here's what Bam Adebayo thinks about fan voting. I'll leave fan voting to fan voting. There are guys that shouldn't even be on that list, but it's fan voting. That's what it is. And you got to live with that. I mean, right now I'm in a position where it's based off the coaches in the East. When you look at the fan vote, players like Nick Claxton, Paolo Banchero, Kyle Kuzma, and Julius Randle are all on the list. But where's Bam? I'm not knocking those players at all. But what I will say is one of those dudes do not belong ahead of Bam Adebayo. And that's just point blank, period. But I digress. There's obviously still a chance that Bam Adebayo can be voted in by the coaches in the East. You would figure there's no way a coach would buy into the popularity contest. They wouldn't just go along to get along, right? A coach in the Eastern Conference would recognize Bam's dominance and continued excellence on the court, right? There's no reason to be upset right now, right? Wrong. Bam Adebayo stated, I'm going to be upset about it if they tell me somebody else played better than me this year, considering I'm leading the NBA in paint points and I'm one of the reasons why we're winning. So for me, it's just that fan voting is fan voting. I'll let that be. But when it comes to coaches voting, that's when I feel like I deserve to be in it. But let me just tell you, he's not wrong. But what do you think? Does Bam Adebayo deserve to be in Salt Lake? Get Bam at